The SR-71 Blackbird could hit MASH 3.56 and outrun 4,000 missiles. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, renowned for its exceptional speed, held the title of the world's fastest and highest flying production aircraft. Summary The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, renowned for its exceptional speed, held the title of the world's fastest and highest flying production aircraft. Capable of exceeding speeds of 2,200 miles per hour, Match 3 Plus, and altitudes over 85,000 feet, it dominated the skies, unreachable by any interceptor or missile. Throughout its 25-year service, it evaded around 4,000 missiles and set numerous speed records, including a peak at 2,000, 193.167 miles per hour in 1976. Intriguingly, the A-12 Oxstart, a relative of the SR-71, surpassed even this record, reaching speeds over 2,400 miles per hour, match 3.56, during test flights. The SR-71 Blackbird was a speed monster. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was a very fast plane. How fast? According to NASA, Developed for the USAF as reconnaissance aircraft more than 30 years ago, SR-71 are still the world's fastest and highest flying production aircraft. The aircraft can fly more than 2200 knots, match 3 plus or more than 3 times the speed of sound, and at altitudes of over 85,000 feet. As Maya Carlin previously reported, it is also true that no interceptor ever really had a chance of catching the Blackbird in flight. During the aircraft's nearly 25 years in service, the Blackbird set numerous speed records, and on July 28, 1976, a Blackbird reached an amazing 2,193.167 miles per hour, flying at roughly 36.55 miles per minute, or 3,216.4 feet per second. It was faster than a bullet fired from the World War era M1 Gurren rifle which had a muzzle velocity of 2,800 feet per second. The SR-71 earned its reputation for incomparable speed. While no aircraft could catch it, neither could missiles. A dozen Blackbirds were lost to accidents during its service history, but not a single aircraft was shot down by an enemy. It reportedly evaded some 4,000 missiles fired its way. So how fast was fast? The SR-71's official speed may have officially been Mach 3.2, but as the Aviation Geek Club reported, it could fly even faster. Citing details from Blackbird pilot Brian Scholl during a flight over Libya in 1986, the high-flying reconnaissance aircraft was pushed to the extreme and perhaps a bit beyond. In addition, because the Blackbird surveillance missions are planned to the second with regard to speed, altitude, and fuel load, a speed excursion above Mach 3.2 was a pilot safety decision completely outside of pre-flight planning. In his book, Sled Driver, Schill also wrote that on the mission the aircraft was pushed to match 3.5. The plane was flying a mile every 1.6 seconds, well above our match 3.2 limit. It was the fastest we would ever fly. A 12 was even faster. Despite the high-speed capabilities of the SR-71, another member of the family could go even faster. It was the A-12 Oxcar which was developed in the early 1960s at the Lockheed Skunk Works, based on designs by Clarence Kelly Johnson for use by the United States Central Intelligence Agency, CAA. In October 1962, the Air Force also ordered three interceptor variants to replace the canceled F-108 Arabia. The modified A-12, first designated the AF-12, and then the YF-12A was designed and built under a project codenamed KEOCK. As part of Operation Black Shield, the Oxstart flew dozens of reconnaissance sorties in the latter stages of the Vietnam War. It was well suited to the missions as it was capable of performing sensitive intelligence gathering flights while traveling at speeds over 2,260 miles per hour, or three times the speed of sound. Match 3. However, in one flight, for a very brief 15 seconds, the aircraft hit a speed of match 3.56, just under 2,400 miles per hour. The aircraft's speed has been described as faster than the rotation of the Earth. However, you may not have heard the story of the SR 71I, the sister variant of the Blackbird, designed to take out Soviet defenses during the Cold War with missiles and radar systems. 
The Interceptor variant of the well-respected SR-71 was intended to sport AI and 120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missile, AMRAM. Lockheed conceptualized this variant better to counter the Soviet Union's latest generation of airframes. Meet the SR-71. Through its nearly quarter of a century career, the SR-71 represented the center of the U.S. Air Force's aerial strategy. The cutting-edge airframe was initially conceptualized to be a successor for the CIA's U-2 spy plane. In 1960, a U-2 was shot down over Soviet airspace, leading American engineers at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works to craft a faster and more sophisticated Renaissance airframe that would evade the USR's defenses. The SR-71 was given the nickname Blackbird for its unique black exterior. In addition to the airframe's titanium frame, it also sported black paint to help dissipate heat and absorb enemy radar emissions.